similarly similarly again um and the the colors creeping into the the netting also um applies to the blankets they often had on their knees uh, so i mix the two together here um you can see the the idea of the several old people in a row when you're actually in the home at, at that time um you would probably see a as many as nine, ten, eleven, twelve people in a row, in those sort of positions, and uh, I think these days you wouldn't see that anymore. It, uh, the homes I've been in since are much better organised, and not this just crowding people into one room and that's it. Again, just simplifying the frame or the top of a chair, peeping into the abyss. I think this one's called a treadmill, I think. Yeah. And the treadmill is actually made up of newspapers. Um, the title came out of more of the pattern of the news newspapers. And uh, most of the heads that I drew um, in the home didn't, didn't have clothes on. That's why the, the clothes are left white at the top. It gives them a more clinical look. So you actually concentrate on the heads and the distortions of age whereas when they're wearing all bright colours and things you don't see these things and then the treadmill part or the newspaper part represents the, the passing of time uh, some of them did read newspapers I don't think they really read them um, it was just part of a habit that you have a newspaper and that was it Again, a variation on the on uh, old Moulton, I think his name was, um, uh, leaning on his chair. I did several of this guy, who whose face was very distorted, and apparently in his day was a complete old rogue, so I was told. Um, and again, these these sweeping, like the orange sweeping colour across the painting, just a sort of uh, a way of expressing time or stillness in time, perhaps. 